everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's your AEC Tech Girl here, and today we're exploring a feature in Revit that often kind of flies under the radar called Propagate Extents. But before getting started, I do kind of want to apologize for my scenery here. I am traveling for work and filming in my small but cozy hotel room. Last week, I was in Sarajevo, Bosnia for our quarterly planning with our developers, and this week I am in Oslo, Norway to meet with some key customers during our user days. And if you didn't already know what I do, I am a product manager and develop add-ins for Revit. And as a product manager, I do get asked for many requests from our customers. And one of the recent requests I had was how can I copy manual changes to grids and level extents across multiple views? Well, you can actually do this right in out of the box Revit using Propagate Extents. And you might ask, what is Propagate Extents? Well, it allows you to copy the manual adjustments you've made to grids or level extents in one view to parallel views. So for example, if you're changing the grid extents in a floor plan, you can copy that to all other level based views basically. And if you change level extents in an elevation or section view, you can copy those changes to all other parallel elevations or sections with a couple of tips that I'm gonna show you today. So if you've spent time adjusting these in a single view, and I know I have spent a lot of time sometimes adjusting these extents, this feature prevents you from having to repeat that process for each view individually. So let's dive in and I'll show you how this feature can save you tons of time, especially when working on large scale complex projects. All right, so we're going to get started with showing how to propagate extents on a level based view like a floor plan. So here on the left hand side, I have my level one floor plan and on the left hand side, I have my level two floor plan. Now, I've already gone ahead and made the changes to the grids. Now, these are 2D changes, meaning that they're only visible in the view that you're making those changes in for the grid extents. I have gone ahead and reduced the length of the extents at the top here, and I've elbowed out this grid. I personally like to elbow out always at 90 degrees, so that sometimes takes a little bit more time, especially if you're doing it on more than one grid. I will also make a note that if you notice the scope box is applied to the floor plans. So floor plans don't typically have an issue with crops or scope boxes applied to them when using the propagate extents features. However, when we move on to doing the elevations and sections, you will see that there are some issues there, but I'll show you a quick workaround. So to propagate extents, simply select the grids that you want to propagate, and you'll notice a button at the top up here that says propagate extents. Simply select that button and an entire list of views that you can propagate these grid extents to will appear. So I'm gonna select the floor plan views that I want to propagate these extents to and simply hit okay. And just like that, all of my extents have been copied over and match perfectly. This is a really quick and easy way to get all your extents to match on all of your floor plans especially if they have the same crop. Next, let's take a look at doing it on an elevation or a section, because it can be a little trickier. Again, I've already gone ahead and made those changes, so you'll notice that I've elbowed out some of these levels here, again, at 90 degrees on both sides, and the length of them is a little bit different. You can see that on the south elevation, the elbows do not appear yet. So all I have to do is simply select the levels I want to propagate, However, there is a bit of an issue here. You might notice that once I select the propagate extents, nothing happens. And that's because there is a crop on these elevations. So the propagate extents won't work if there's a crop on an elevation. All I have to do is temporarily remove the crop. I can do that in each individual view, or I could have gone ahead and selected those views in the project browser and removed the crop. Now, when I select the levels, I can select propagate extents and the same window pops up where I can select which views I want to propagate these extents to, hit okay, and we will in one second get our grids that are propagated with those elbows and the correct length. And that's a quick rundown of Revit's propagate extents 
feature. It's a hidden gem that can save you so much time and effort, especially when working on complex projects with a lot of documentation. Have you used Propagate Extents before? Let me know in the comments or share any other hidden Revit tips you might have. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And of course, hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. And remember, stay empowered, stay inspired, and always challenge what is possible.